Well, welcome back to the sawmill. It's Sunday, November the 18th, and a lot going on this morning. Still doing some cleaning up here at the barn. And I got it just about ready to bring the sawmill in here. Got a little bit of pressure washing to do on the back half of it. And as soon as it drip dries a little bit, we'll bring the wood miser in here with the new Holland and get it stationed where I want to put it. So a pretty exciting day today, finally getting the sawmill in here. If everything goes right, and uh, this pressure wash is pretty good. I think it's gonna come off pretty good. The first half, the, a lot of the rabbit hair came right off. And I, and I appreciate you guys that recommended power washing the place. That's exactly what needed to be done in there. I'll take the camera back here to show you guys the progress so far. Then we'll get the pressure washer going and uh, hopefully get that sawmill in here. One more thing real quick, appreciate you guys on Patreon. Uh, there's a lot of uh, people on Patreon now that's supporting this channel. And I uh, really appreciate you guys helping me out. If anybody's interested in that, there's links down below in all these videos if you want to kind of help support us, what we're doing here. And uh, look over the voice today. I got a terrible cold. I've been coughing and sore throat and all kinds of stuff going on. So my, I might not sound as country as usual. A lot of people give me heck on here about my Tennessee accent. So it's probably going to sound worse today. So anyways, show you guys what's going on. All right, the lighting's not the best back here because all the lights have been taken down. Hope I don't trip on anything walking backwards. But I got some new lights to hand in here. I got one that just came in a few days ago. We'll be putting up probably tonight, maybe, if I get time. But uh, that's gonna be a whole other video there talking about the lighting back here where the mill is. But as you can see above me here, this is the back of the building and uh, had a lot of this insulation over this metal and it was really really nasty it kind of scaled when you peeled it off and there's a little bit of echo in here now too i have to worry about that later hope the sawmill is not really loud in here so if it is i'll have to think about doing something about that but anyways guys the back of this building is completely open up now all this crap that was hanging from the rafters is gone and the insulation here on the first four bays i tore all it out it was just in terrible shape now the other four bays i left the insulation on it it's solid and intact so i may take it off later but right now it's okay and the metal trusses up here i will probably uh, paint at some point it's a little too cold now in the year to put paint on out here. Probably won't dry. Maybe about springtime we'll repaint these white and get the rust off of them. So we'll do that maybe in the spring. As you can see, things are coming right along. It's looking a lot better out here, a lot cleaner. You can see the difference here in the wall. Let me back up. So we have the insulation on this wall right here and none on this wall. And uh, that's what I was talking about when I talked about pulling that insulation off. It was just nasty. And the rest of it's intact, so we'll just leave it. I'm probably repeating myself over and over again as usual, so let's look over that as well. But this back half right here, we're getting ready to wash. And I'm going to close this door and uh, spray some cleaner on it. It's pretty nasty. Hopefully it'll come off. And uh, as soon as that dries, bring in the sawmill.
finally the wood misers in its new home and the new holland didn't have any trouble at all pulling it in here and uh it's pretty good in here i don't have it maneuvered exactly where i want it but uh the main thing is it's in here in the dry for the first time in a long time and uh, i'm really happy to have this thing in the drive it's been out in the weather for the past few years of course i've kept the engine covered with the tarp but uh, this thing really needs to be kept in the dry though these things are too expensive to leave out in the weather I should have got a roof over this saw me a long time ago. But anyways, we have one now. So uh, one thing I'm gonna test out here, I did some measuring before I decided to even put the sawmill in here. And going by my measurements, the saw head can go all the way to the top and not hit these uh, rafters. So uh, let's see what happens here. It's looking good so far. Should have plenty of clearance there above the motor. There it is, the mat's height. Oh yeah, plenty of clearance up there, fantastic. 